Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the third problem, which is also used to calculate the input power, output power, and efficiency. So, a reflex klystron operated at a peak mode of n is equal to 2. Generally, we can consider always n is equal to 2 or 1. So, with V0 is equal to 28 volts and I0 is also given, which is 22 milliamperes, and a signal voltage V1 is equal to 30 volts. Now, using these credentials, we need to calculate what is the input power, output power, and efficiency. So, before going to the solution, first write given, given number of modes n is equal to 2, v0 is equal to, v0 is equal to 280 volts. V0 is equal to 280 volts or 20 volts, 28 volts. V0 is equal to 280. V0 is equal to 280. It is 280. Next, I0 is equal to 22 milliamperes and V1 is equal to 30. Okay. So now using all these values only we can calculate the uh, input power. So that input power is nothing but DC input power or AC power. AC power is the output power. So we can say input power is nothing but DC power. So input power PDC is equal to DC as it is a DC input power PDC which is nothing but applied anode voltage multiplied with the current that is induced because of this voltage V0 into I0. So that is equal to 280. V0 is nothing but accelerating anode 280 into I0. What is I0? 22, 22 milliamperes. So that is equal to PDC is equal to 6.16 amperes next coming to the second one case b which is used to for the calculation of input power we can use so calculation of input power pac input power output power sorry uh, input power already we have calculated now it is output power pac is equal to 2 into v0 i0 x dash j r 1 of x dash divided by 2 pi n minus pi by 2 okay substitute individually for n is equal to 2 p a c is equal to 2 into what is this v0 v0 we have already taken that is 280 into 22 into 10 power minus 323 milliamperes and into this value is 1.25 that value is 1.25 Bessel's function with respect to the variable x dash so in the denominator we have 2 pi into n is equal to 2 minus pi by 2 Okay, so that is equal to after simplification, we will get 15.4 by 4 pi minus pi by 2. This is the input power. We can get a much more simplified, simplified value as PAC is equal to which is 1.4005 watts. This is the output power PAC. Now, using these two A and B, we can calculate simply the efficiency eta is equal to output power upon input power. What is the power we are applying at the input of this surplus question? What is the amount of power we are getting at the output? That also we should consider. Okay, without knowing them. We cannot calculate that's why in the a and b situations we have calculated the output power and input ac power input dc power so p out 
P out is equal to or PAC is equal to 1.4005 watts divided by 6.616 watts into 100 because we are calculating the efficiency in terms of 100. So after simplification the value will be 22.7 percent. This is the value of eta. Okay. That means 22.7 percent of the efficiency is there when we have the transmission from the input to the output through the reflex klystron. Okay. So in this way we can calculate the input power, output power and the reflex klystron values. Okay, we will be having one more form, uh, one more problem that also I will discuss here. Okay. So, problem number 4. This is the third one. Okay, this is the third problem. So, now we will see problem number 4. So, a reflux klystron is operated, a reflux klystron is operated at 5 gigahertz with an anode voltage with anode voltage is nothing but V0 is equal to 1000 volts. and cavity gap to millimeters calculate the gap transit angle gap transit angle so solution for this one given f is equal to 5 gigahertz frequency is given operating frequency is given that is equal to 5 into 10 power 9 hedge next v naught is given that is 1000 volts and 2 mm cavity gap cavity gap is denoted as d small d 2 into 10 power minus 3 meters next one gap transit angle now we are asked to calculate gap transit angle gap transit angle indicated by theta g that is equal to omega into d by v naught omega into d by v naught where omega is equal to 2 pi f and d is known and V naught is, V naught is nothing but small v, I told you what is the difference between small v and capital V. Small v refers to the voltage, sorry, small v refers to the velocity of the electron and capital V refers to the voltage, okay. Small v, it is uh, 2 E V naught by M under root. This is actually the formula for this uh, velocity of the electron which moves with the standard velocity normal velocity okay so that we need to calculate first so v naught is equal to 2 e v naught by m that is equal to we know the standard value of the e by m that is 0 0.593 into 10 power 6 into root v naught so except root v naught remaining we can have we have we known the values and substitute it and bring it out so after simplification it is 18.75 into 10 power 6 meters per second it is velocity units are meters per second now theta g we can directly calculate theta g is equal to which is the transit angle theta g is equal to 2 pi into 5 giga 5 into 10 power 
9 into 2 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 18.75 into 10 power 6. Okay. So, after simplification, this numerator will be having 20 pi minus 18.75. So, after simplification of this one, it is 3.36 theta g or gap transit angle. We can write it as gap transit angle. So, gap transit angle theta g is equal to 3.36 approximately radians. 3.36 radians. So, this is the way how to calculate the unknown values in using the reflex question method along with the efficiency and transit time angle also we have calculated this one. Thank you.